from WTOC, the Southeast News Leader. The News at Daybreak starts now. Coming up on The News at Daybreak, yesterday was the annual Skidaway Marine Science Day. We take you there next. Plus, as growth explodes across the coastal empire, some in Effingham County are fighting to protect specific areas from development. We have an update on a possible historic overlay district in Ebenezer. And we're giving away a live look outside the WTOC Velmark Savannah Riverfront Sky Cam. We have first alert forecaster Ron Wallace coming up with your forecast. Good morning and thank you for watching the news at daybreak. I'm Bronte Sirotsky. Always live from the heart of downtown Colorado Springs, you're watching KRDO 13 News at 5 p.m. Good evening, I'm Michael Logroll. You're watching KRDO 13 News at 5 o'clock. Now, U.S. Highway 24 just reopened in both directions for drivers. The highway had been shut down for five hours following a morning crash that killed one person and sent another person to the hospital with serious injuries, according to Colorado State Patrol. We are local Las Vegas. Fox 5 News starts now. What we do know is he showed up with multiple passports with different names, an unregistered vehicle with fake license plate, and loaded firearms. The he the Riverside County Sheriff is referring to is a Las Vegas resident, and Saturday deputies took him into custody for bringing multiple guns to the area near a Trump rally. Uh, and that, that was a day after his arrest. His intentions still remain a mystery. And that's where Fox 5 News at 10 begins tonight. The legend of the Red River Rivalry, where heroes are forged and neighbors divided. What happens on this field just resonates forever. Texas, Oklahoma, today at 3.30 p.m. Eastern on ABC. A community festival helping turn a vision into a reality. There is something for everybody. Your history is my history is our story. Celebrating African American culture in Hampton Roads, Monday morning at 6 on Wavy News 10 today. The most watched news at 10 is Action News at 10 on PHL 17 with anchor Shari Williams. Here are some of the stories that we're following for you right here on Action News. Meteorologist Adam Joseph. A few high clouds to the north, but overall that clear sky continues. And sports director Deuces Rogers. Decisions will have to be made about the quarterback, free agents. Stay informed with the team to trust at 10. Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Every morning is a delicate formula. Some parts are instinct, others demand our fully awake attention. Then there are forces at play that may feel completely out of our control. No matter what, you gotta try your best to start strong. Because we have people depending on us to provide, protect, make a plan. Being someone others can turn to. Helping form a plan for whatever is happening outside the protection of the home you've built. Offering clear and specific guidance, pinpoint by pinpoint. So you can stay focused on what instinctively matters most. That's what you'd do, so that's what we do. Turn to Pinpoint Weather. Queen City News every morning. New at four, a man arrested for security threats towards FEMA workers in Western North Carolina. This man, William Parsons of Bostick, which is a town in Rutherford County, is charged with going armed to the terror of the public. Deputies made this arrest after dispatchers were told about a man holding an assault rifle and making comments about harming FEMA employees. This arrest prompted a pause in some FEMA recovery efforts and called workers there for Helene victims back to hotels. Now all of this comes after FEMA work workers in Western North Carolina have been targeted with misinformation and rumors about the federal government's recovery operations. An evolving issue. I'm Cadence McKenna, your neighborhood reporter in Woodway, telling you about a rising issue in our schools and how the school's police department is tackling the problem. 
Memories up in flames. I'm Mark Monroy reporting in your neighborhood of Mejia. A Friday night fire leaves the community in shock. I'll show you how our neighbors are lending a helping hand. Good Tuesday morning, and thank you so much for waking up with us here on Good Morning Texas. I'm Charday LeRae. Well, it's been a hot couple of days, especially over the weekend, but Josh is promising a cold front here pretty soon. Let's take it to weather with the latest. Good morning, Josh. Well, good morning, Charday. And we do have the cold front on the way, but first we got to get through another hot one here today. It Covering news across your hometown, we're working hard for you. This is WHSV News at 5. Big economic news out of Augusta County. Dairy product manufacturer Shamrock Farms will be putting over $50 million toward expanding its manufacturing operation in Augusta County. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Chelsea Church. And I'm Caitlin Peak. We're glad you're with us tonight. Sh Covering news across your hometown, we're working hard for you. This is WHSV News at 6. Fox 4 News at 9 starts now. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Dax McCoy. We begin this evening with new details and dramatic video of events leading up to and including a fatal officer involved shooting. It is Tuesday night at 11 o'clock and we welcome you to Good Night LA, simulcast on our sister station Fox 11 Plus. Thanks for being with us. I'm Marla Tejas. Coming up on WXXV News 25, as the countdown to the election takes closer, Vice President Harris and former President Trump are focusing on engaging key demographics while also expanding their reach. We'll have the latest from the campaign trail. And in sports, we highlight the upcoming slate of volleyball state championships featuring a few coast schools. And Long Beach Mayor George Bass sat down for an interview with Grant Gazzola to talk about why he's not seeking a third term. WXXV News 25 starts right now. Your news live right now. WXXV News 25. Good morning, South Mississippi. A happy Thursday to you. Thanks for joining us for WXXV News 25 at 7. You're watching News 12 at noon. This is the place for the latest news from around the Tennessee Valley and North Georgia. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kay Blevins. Thanks for joining us for News 12 at noon. Amelia Greer has the afternoon off. From the News Channel 5 Network, this is Talk of the Town. Good morning, everybody. I'm Heather Mathis. And I'm Lou Statham. Thank you for being with us today. Got a good show ahead, and who doesn't love pizza? I love pizza, and if you're a pizza lover, this weekend is for you. We're on your block, around the clock, on air, and streaming live. CBS News Detroit at 5 starts now. And welcome to CBS News Detroit at 5. Thank you for joining us. I'm Terrence Friday. And I'm Meredith Bruckner in for Shana Humphreys. Authorities in Wayne County are investigating a mystery in what's described as a normally quiet neighborhood. It's you're watching KESQ, the desert's news leader. This is News Channel 3, live at 6. New information tonight about the 19-year-old man killed in a motorcycle crash in Palm Springs this week, only with 6. We're hearing from a local coach who knew him. 911 phone lines have been impacted in several communities around the Coachella Valley. Tonight we continue our investigation as to why it continues to happen and what officials are doing to prevent future outages. And a News Channel 3 exclusive tonight, Naval Journey. Our Peter Dapp boards a warship for an in-depth look as hundreds of sailors and Marines, many of them stationed in 29 Palms, work to protect the United States at sea. And we start with these gusty, windy conditions out there impacting air quality tonight in the desert as we take this live look outside from our Coachella Cam. The popular restaurant chain TGI Friday is closing several of its locations across the country, including right here in Gulfport. 
I'm WXXV News 25's Marco Bittnell. I have the latest on those closures. Make sure to stick around. I got to participate in a special training session with the Gulfport Police Department. Stick around and I'll show you more. Plus, the Gaming Commission met today regarding the new proposed casino in Biloxi. Why no action was taken just ahead. I'm WXXV News 25's Brant Chigazola. The future of autonomous space technology is being developed right here at NASA's Stennis Space Center. Coming up in just a bit, we'll tell you more about that and take you on a tour of their autonomous space lab. And coming up in sports, we introduce you to our brand new student athlete of the week. Your news live right now. WXXV News 25. WTKR News 3 at 10 starts now. Good evening, I'm Pari Cruz. So glad you could join us. We begin tonight in Newport News. The mother of a Menchville High School student that died at school is now suing the school division, the city, and several others. This is Boston 25 News at 10, your local station. Tonight in Boston 25 News, a four-year-old girl is dead. Her father facing charges. Details on the case ahead. Plus, a thief caught on camera. Store owners now picking up the pieces. The string of commercial thefts in Westboro. And tensions in the Middle East escalating how Israel found and killed a Hamas leader in the Strip. We start in Worcester, where a father is charged after his daughter's death. Hi, everyone. I'm Mark Ockerblum. And I'm Rachel Keller, the victim in this tragedy just four years old see something like this happen. It's kind of terrifying. Hunter Day is working without a contract. Now teachers in the Hempfield School District ready to escalate the negotiations. We're talking about the crossroads in Lancaster County tonight. And another leader of Hamas killed by Israeli forces. The possible effects on a ceasefire negotiation and reactions from a local lawmaker. A mother convicted of killing her two kids sentenced in Cambria County today. We're talking about the explanation she has as to why she's blaming her son for all this. Next. And the Trump campaign employing some star power in Battleground, Pennsylvania, sending Tesla CEO Elon Musk to Delaware County, how he's trying to drum up support with money and influence. CBS 21 News begins with breaking news. We have breaking news for you tonight in Lancaster County. I'm Joel D. Smith. It's 11 o'clock. I'm Jasmine Brooks, and we are getting reports of a major and active fire at a silo on River Road in East Donegal Township. Yeah, let's get to those pictures right now. Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 11 starts now. We have new information in the disturbing Rochester Hills murder involving fake DTE workers. A second man has been charged in the case identified as Joshua Zazo. Jacqueline Francis was in court today as police revealed new details in the case. Jacqueline, what can you tell us? Gracias por sintonizar Telemundo 23. Hoy, hace 35 años, el terremoto Loma Prieta sacudió el área de la bahía. Personas en la costa central recuerdan tal día. La oficina del sheriff del condado de Monterrey junto con la fiscalía anunciaron el arresto en un caso de homicidio que estaba sin resolver de hace 30 años. Autoridades en Santa Cruz dicen que ha habido muchos robos de las bicicletas eléctricas en la ciudad y la gente en el área que usan este, este, este tipo de bicicletas muestran su frustración. Estás viendo el noticiero Telemundo Costa Central. Hola, ¿qué tal? Les saluda Natalie Gutiérrez. Bienvenidos al noticiero Telemundo Costa Central. Sandy Santos tiene el día libre hoy. Un gusto estar con ustedes este jueves. 